so you made it to my youtube channel thank you so let's get straight to the point so i've been contemplating to make a youtube video for like a couple years since i was like 16 or something like that but i should have done a q a first but i'm just gonna hit it with a, my first time with a girl so oh shit so let's get to the point so bitch got hot put her hair up and let's get back to the story january 3rd january 7th between those days of 2016 um i was 15 years old which is pretty young really young looking back at it i'm like oh, fuck. i was a child um <laughs> oh do i regret it no because you know it's life experience already happened or whatever because i'm a pro now kind of find out um, I'm trying to think. So my ex at the time, we're gonna give her a little name. It's gonna be Nicole. So Nicole would come spend the night every weekend, whatever. Mind you, this girl would come shaved every single time. What does that mean? That's my little golden ticket. My little go-to. My little sideway entrance. Like, oh, okay. So this is what she wants. She wants a piece of me. <laughs> so, the night had came. And we were there, about to go to bed. Me? Well, me was like, okay, this is it about to get shit down um i go to the bathroom and i had to grab some clothes with me some you know bra laced underwear she did not know this was gonna happen no i had a robe too and when i go into the bathroom i was getting myself fixed up hyping myself up and i was like oh this is about to be good like yes wiggling my fingers like stupid shit like stupid um so i go out to my room and she's on her phone and she's like oh you ready to go to bed and she sees me in this robe and i tear off the robe and i'm like i look at her she looks at me and we look at each other straight in the eyes she just like, mm, come here. Oh, bitch, you want me to come here? Shit. Oh, don't tell me, Liz. Um, gets popping, you know, kissing each other, everything like that. In our messages before this, I told her, I'm gonna eat you like the last supper. I fucking lied. That shit was so complicated, so hard, you know, for being so young. No, I'm not young. For being like my first time, shit was complicated. You had to do like the double flex combo, twist turn, you know, stupid shit. That stupid good shit. My walls are super thin. Like before I moved in this house, I'm pretty sure they could hear mumbling from this wall, but not as like loud as my other one. Cause my other house, you could hear like that bitch was like, oh, "Bitch, fuck up! Like, don't be doing that shit in here." <sighs> Jesus. And she would be like, "Do it again, bitch! Shut the fuck up!" So we went to this one position, and I forgot to tell you guys, I was sick, you know, I have asthma, we 69, and I wouldn't say I suffocated, I would not say that at all, because I didn't, 
but I ran out of breath. <laughs> I kind of like push her off of me. She kind of almost hit paint side of my face. And she's like, what's wrong? And I was like, I can't breathe. <laughs> and I grab my inhaler, shake this bitch. <sighs> and that happens. You know, it's kind of funny because she didn't laugh at me or like she didn't do anything. She didn't make any weird face. So I was like, okay, so this is still happening. Yes. So, you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, oh, fuck. What the fuck? Like, I had to use my fucking inhaler. The bitch ran out of breath that day. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I really did. Um. So, right after that, we moved past that. You know, we moved past this, this little incident right here. We go into this one position i'm on top this time what the fuck happens my fucking head i bust that shit in my bed frame i'm surprised she didn't notice because you know kind of made a loud noise but i was just like oh that's just my hand that shit was my fucking head um i put it off so smooth though i couldn't even pay attention at that point my head was throbbing um, but you know, it still went smooth. It still went good. We go into another position. My fucking knee hits her face. And I could hear her say like, ow. And I could feel my knee hurting. So at this point, my lungs are fucked up. My head's busted. And I got a fucking mark on my knee. Shit ain't going as I planned. The things my friend said was supposed to happen did not happen like that. But because we were so comfortable with each other, it didn't matter. If that makes sense. Like we would laugh it off and keep going. This went on for like like a good two hours. Camera was exaggerating like one hour and 30 minutes close to two hours um and you know when she went down and you know did that heavenly thing <laughs> i didn't feel shit i mean i did but it was just like it was both our first time and don't get me wrong i was like oh i kind of like this but at the same time i was like Ooh, i ain't feeling anything but you know it was vice versa both ways but like i said because we had strong bonds with each other it was fine it really was um funny and intimate and that's about it when it got all done i remember laying there Yeah. It's only gonna be with her. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. Um, when I, when everything was over, I was just like, dang, I actually like this. Like, I like being with a girl. Like, this is really fun. Like, I feel comfortable. I feel myself. Now, I'm no longer with that girl. I am fully out to my parents like my whole family honestly um i'm gonna be 20 years old i'm single so that's the end of my video i hope you guys liked it um i'm definitely gonna come out with two more videos one of them's gonna be a q a the other one's gonna be a coming out story and with the coming out story, I actually want to have my grandma involved with it because I want to hear her side and her point of view from when I first came out to liking girls. So like, comment, share, hype a beach up. Um, 
Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching.